I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the bur oak. Bur oak, Quercus macrocarpa, is a widespread oak that is a member of the white oak group. It is also known as blue oak, mossy cup oak, mossy overcup oak, and scrub oak. Bur oak is one of the most cold tolerant of the North American oak species. This stately tree is considered a medium-sized to large tree that typically grows 70 to 90 feet tall, but is often found as tall as 100 feet and 3 to 4 feet in diameter with a large spreading crown. It is a relatively slow-growing but long-lived tree that commonly lives 200 to 300 years, if not longer. It is considered intermediate in shade tolerance. Bur oak is commonly used in shelter belt plantings and as a shade tree in large landscapes, as it is considered tolerant of urban pollution. Bur oak has one of the largest natural ranges of oaks in North America and ranges the farthest north. It's found growing in a wide variety of sites, including dry uplands, sandy plains, prairie grasslands, and fertile limestone soils and moist bottomlands. It typically grows in a mixture with other hardwoods, and in the west, it's a pioneer tree in prairie grasslands. However, bur oak savannas have declined due to grazing and fire suppression. In Kentucky, bur oak grows in most parts of the state except the east and is a common site in the bluegrass region in pastures. Bur oak is very resistant to drought due to its early taproot development and extensive root system. Bur oak is deciduous with alternately arranged leaves. The leaves are simple in form, meaning they're made up of one blade and usually between 6 to 12 inches long. The leaves are somewhat obovate and kind of fiddle shaped with the leaf tapering to a wedge at the base. The leaves have numerous lobes, a few with sinuses, those are the indentations, that reach almost to the midrib of the leaf. Many times the lobes near the tip of the leaf resemble a crown. They are green above and pale and fuzzy below and fall colors typically dull yellow to brown. Bur oak is monoecious, meaning a tree will have both male and female flowers. The male flowers are yellow-green and in drooping catkins that are usually about two to four inches long. The female flowers are greenish with a red tint and appear in a single short spikes. Both flowers emerge after the leaves in the spring and they are wind pollinated. The fruit of bur oak is an acorn. In fact, bur oak has the largest acorns of any native oak. The acorns are three-fourths to one and a half inches, with at least half of the acorn enclosed in a warty cap that is conspicuously fringed. The acorns ripen in one growing season and mature in later summer into the fall. Seeds are dispersed by gravity, wildlife squirrels, and to a limited extent by water. And what acorns that are not eaten by a variety of wildlife will germinate soon after dropping. Bur oak begins seed production around 35 years of age and can continue to produce acorns several hundred years. However, optimal seed production is between 75 to 150 years. Trees produce good seed crops every two to three years. Bur oak, like most oaks, is an important wildlife tree. The acorns are consumed by birds and mammals, including squirrels, rabbits, ground squirrels, mice, deer, and possibly wood duck and blue jays. The foliage is eaten by deer and cattle, and red-tailed hawks, screech owls, fox squirrels, and flying squirrels nest in the large canopies. The bark of bur oak is very thick. It's ashy gray to brown in color and quite scaly, but has noticeable vertical ridges on large trees. The branches often have corky ridges all the way out to the end of the branch. Bur oak wood is light to medium brown in color, though there can be a fair amount of variation in color. It has medium to large pores and a fairly coarse grain. It's ring porous with an abundance of tyloses, which are balloon-like outgrowths of parenchyma cells which block water movement in the vessels. The presence of tyloses in white oaks makes their wood watertight, which is why it's preferred in casks and shipbuilding to red oak, and the growth rings are distinct. Bur oak has been rated as having very good resistance to decay. Bur oak falls into the white oak group and shares many of the same traits as white oak Quercus alba. The wood is used for cabinetry, furniture, interior trim, flooring, boat building, barrels, and veneer. The trees are also used in shelter belt plantings in the Midwest, and it's used in large urban landscapes as a shade tree due to its tolerance to pollution. There are two national champions. 
One is in Mason, West Virginia. It's 278 inches in circumference, 108 feet tall with 112 foot crown spread. The co-champion is in Boone, Missouri, and it's 295 inches in circumference, 74 feet tall with 129 foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion is in Woodford County. It is 304 inches in circumference, 92 feet tall with 101 foot crown spread. A local arborist estimated the tree to be between 400 and 500 years old. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Register of Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Champion Tree with the Kentucky Division of Forestry. Now for a few fun facts about Bur Oak. Bur Oak is named for the characteristic fringed acorn cap because it resembles the burr of a chestnut tree. The massive root system of the Bur Oak is said to be a mirror reflection of the trunk and branch system above ground. The Burr Oak is the official tree of Lexington, Kentucky. It's also the state tree of Iowa. The large sweet acorns have long been eaten by humans. The scientific genus name Quercus is Latin for oak, and the species name Macrocarpa is from the Greek makros, which means large, and karpos, which means fruit, referring to the large acorns. Thank you for joining me to learn about the bur oak. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or your neighborhood and enjoy this outstanding and beautiful bur oak.